Hello my friends, the long awaited livestream update video has arrived! I've more or less got stuff figured out now, um, there's a few settings that probably need to be tweaked, but for the most part you can just watch this little thing. It's, it's recorded in the same thing I'd be recording the livestream in, so it's more or less a simulated livestream. And uh, this is about the quality, minus a few tweaks that I'll make later, that you'd be getting. Any sort of advice or stuff to fix said things would be much appreciated. Probably right after this video goes up, I'll be doing a test live stream in which I'll be doing said tweaks, and then it might become an actual live stream instead of a test live stream. And so that'll be fun. Make sure you're madly refreshing my channel's homepage. And uh, here's that little clip. Hey there, it's me in the flesh. Hold on, let me make this guy wave. Ah, there we go. All right, so uh, I'm actually gonna look at my screen for a second. The the layout I think looks okay, right? I mean, I might redo the banner thing, but I think it looks cool-ish. I mean, it's very simple. Um, I I'm conflicted about uh, streaming on Twitch and YouTube them both instead of just choosing one to favor the other because I don't actually know which one I'd end up liking more. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to go with having any sort of community thing that'd be like a multiplayer game that's like free to play so people can just join in whenever um, stuff like that streaming that on YouTube and then anything that would be edited into a let's play I'd stream on Twitch uh, because something I realized is that if I can just record it like this with a webcam uh, then I don't really have to worry about not having a webcam anymore because I can just, you know, as I already said, just record it like this, which has the webcam instead of editing everything together. However, that means I have less freedom when it comes to editing that really outside of, well, I guess I have limited stuff when it comes to editing audio. Um, I can still add in my little text every now and then, and I can still edit the audio level a lot very much, but I can bring it up a bit or bring it down a bit, but I can't actually separate the uh, voice audio from the game audio, so I gotta pray that I get it right the first time. Um, and that, basically just stuff like that, it's, it's, I'm not gonna get into it. But as for the little banners along the top, let me see, get to the, uh, where it says like Twitter here and Twitch is over there and YouTube's over there, and you, you get what I'm saying about, or talking about. Uh, those, I, I'm probably going to redo the banner. Uh, I like them, they're simple, but I'm probably going to redo that. Uh, and then also the purple border thing, I've, I've obviously changed it a bit for this layout, uh, but I might just end up going with black, because I've noticed, let me just switch games, um, from Elgato to, there we go. Hopefully it'll switch game soon. That's right, I have to do this stupid thing where I do this. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, if I just switch to Rogue Legacy, you'll notice that like over... I don't think it's capturing my mouse. No, it's not. Okay. Um, off to the side there. Uh, it's still black instead of purple. Um, and that's because while Rogue Legacy is 720p, which is what I've decided to live stream in just so that... I can get a fast response and I make sure that like there's no lag or anything. Yeah, I know it's not 1080, but it's good enough in my opinion. And it's a live stream, all right? So like I I feel as though this is just what I want to do, but I want to value conversations with you guys with the comments off to the side and stuff like that over amazing graphics cuz honestly, when you're just off to the comments like commenting anyways, you're not zoomed in, so it's not going to have its full aspect ratio anyways, so 720p should be more than good enough. Um, let's see... Yeah, that's that's about it for that. Hopefully this is working just fine. I didn't actually test the Rogue Legacy thing. And transition back to Elgato. But yeah, I guess... Um, just a quick sound test. I've no. I'm in this beginning area. Well, I'm not at the beginning anymore uh, because I obviously have this armor. But 
I'm in this beginning area because there's all sorts of jars to smash, which I was already doing a bunch of audio tests earlier, which is why all those are all smashed. But because I noticed uh, in Bloodborne, at least, that um, I was recording it differently, so I didn't have as much freedom over my audio files, which is what I'm afraid of with recording this um, and live streaming and whatnot, is that sometimes these can be louder than uh, my actual voice when I was recording Bloodborne, and um, that wasn't good. So hopefully this just acts as another test that you guys can see. All right, is this a good level? Uh, I'm probably, yeah, later today or tomorrow, uh, which means the next day after this goes up or the day that this does go up is what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of tests just to make sure I get the audio done and then I'll start live streaming from there on and whatnot. Uh, but I actually, the reason why um, this guy has all the... Chosen on Dead slash Oscar weapons and outfits is because I thought it'd be fun to New Game Plus this character, which I haven't yet. I'm actually just uh, level 30, 32 right now. Um, and so I probably shouldn't be facing the Asylum Demon right now, or Stray Demon, I believe it is. Asylum Demon's the smaller one. Uh, but I'm going to go do that in a second, just since I'm already here, I might as well. Although I don't really need a Titanite slab because this thing uh, uses like the sparkling Titanite things or shining or I don't friggin' remember what it is. Anyways, I just figured it'd be fun to do a stream where I new game plus this guy and just, you know, just do a, a chosen undead build where like you just do the default armor from like all the trailers and this is what Oscar is wearing. Oscar's the guy who dies at the beginning of the game, which isn't really a spoiler because it's the very beginning of the game. I mean, that's what kind of kickstarts your entire adventure. Anyways, so yeah, that, that's a thing. I'm going to go die now, probably, because this weapon is kind of shitty. I mean, it's, it's like half a dex weapon. I friggin' hate how, like, you push that button at all and he rolls. Okay, cool, I can live that. That's good to know. Okay, yeah, yeah, you do it again. I'm gonna slice your butt. Still, you stupid fat budger. Rawr, 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 rawr. I guess this is gonna. Oh, shit, I'm in front of him. How did I get in front of him? Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, good. Woo! Ah, uh, I somehow. Oh. No, I hate this guy, because he spams that, and I mean, it's not right now, but usually that's a one-hit KO on most of my other characters, because I don't really invest in uh, my armor so much on other characters. Come on, man, quit it. You're making me look bad. This is going to take forever, and I won't be able to do this as part of this example thing anymore. <sighs> oh, shit, yeah, that's going to kill me. Oh, I didn't die. Oh. Nice. Nice. I thought it was going to kill me, because I thought that particular stance he takes makes it do more damage than the other stance. But I guess not. How did I get hit by that? He was on the ground and, like, completely stationary. Come on, man. Yeah, it's not going to hit me. Oh, it hit me. Okay. Great. Alright, well, there was, there was that. That went well. Um, very well, and by very well I mean very bad. But, hey, that's that's just how things work sometimes. Anyways, um, yeah. Let me see, what else can I show you? I can, I can get rid of this, I can put that back on. Woo, isn't that fun? I can also, hold on, edit scene. I can move, oh, shit, wrong thing. <laughs> I am so graceful when it comes to uh, the, the editing of uh, this program. There we go. That's all nice and lined up again. Webcam. Webcam is what I can do. I can, I can move the webcam around. I can also uh, flip it and put it back on the other side. But as I am right now, I'm more facing towards the center of the screen, which I thought would look better. Probably. I don't know. Well... Not so much, because I keep looking at my computer, which is over here, but my screen is right here that I'm looking at, and then, of course, the webcam is here, so... Maybe I should flip it. I don't know. You guys you guys, let me know what I should do. That's another thing. Um, Free-to-play multiplayer games. Let me know what you guys want to play with me. Uh, if it does cost money, I will eventually invest in it, so please feel free to recommend those as well. But... Just right now, I don't have any money. 
so that's going to be a little while. But I think I've talked about everything that I could talk about right now. I mean, I'm, I'm going to definitely do another uh, update video about stuff on my channel. I have some other things I want to talk about. Uh, but as far as live streaming goes, uh, I don't quite have a concrete schedule made yet. That will probably be after this little section of the video ends, where myself from tomorrow morning will hopefully have a better idea of how stuff's going to work, and he'll finish the rest of this video and whatnot, and yeah, the end card and everything. But, yeah, that's, that's about it. Ah, uh, future me, take it away. Alright, that was pretty much everything. Uh, a couple small things, though. I don't know if you noticed or not, it was particularly noticeable during the little uh, boss battle thing I did, but it seems as though my uh, audio and the game footage itself is a little bit out of sync. I think I know how to fix it, and I think I might have already done it, but I won't actually know until I test it again, which will definitely be something that we'll be testing after this video goes up. Outside of that, I adjusted the... Dark Souls audio up just a little bit, because I, I guess it was okay for the most part, but when just the fan from my laptop seemed to be, I guess, overpowering the wind blowing in the background audio, which isn't that important, I guess. I mean, that, that's a really low thing of audio. But even so, I don't know, I just, just want to pull it up just a little bit, just in case. Uh, and then, outside of that, it seems like my voiceover audio was good. It was consistently between negative 3 and negative 12, which is a good range in my opinion. Just as long as it doesn't get to zero, and then it gets a bit loud. That's where I put all my maximums in my Bloodborne playthroughs, so I don't know if those ended up being too loud for any of you guys, but that's what was going on there. Oh, by, by the negative numbers, I'm talking about decibels. Sorry, I don't know if I actually said if it was decibels or not. Uh, the one thing I'm worried about is if I start shouting or something, I'm hoping that it doesn't go over. So I need to look into whether or not it has any kind of stoppage at any kind of maximum that I can set, and I, I can't find anything like that, so hopefully that won't be a problem. With that out of the way, here's a basic schedule thing I put together. Purple, as you can already tell, means unknown. I have no idea what's going on on those days. Uh... Plus, on Saturdays and Sundays, my family will be home, so who knows what they want to do. So I have no idea if I'll be able to stream during any of the weekends. Uh, and then also later in the month, again, I have no idea. Orange, that's days that have already come to pass. Thursday is technically today. The 5th, you can see that over there. Uh, green means days that I probably will be able to stream. As far as I know, there's nothing that could stop me on those days, outside of just random family matters that might crop up. Uh, hence why Tuesday the 10th is yellow. A random family matter popped up, so I need to go do something on that day. So there won't be any live stream on that day, but at least for this month, this should be a good approximation for now on how the schedule looks. This schedule will probably change. I'll actually be moving sometime near the end of this month or possibly early next month. And then I don't even know if I'll be able to do live streams for the next few months past there. But at least in the present, I can do live streams and it's been something I've wanted to experiment with and do for quite a long time. So I figure, hey, I might as well jump on it. I've got no classes to do this month. I've got really nothing to do outside of cleaning the house and making it look nice, which shouldn't be that hard to do. So, with all this spare time, I might as well do what I've been meaning to do and finally start live streaming. Plus, I feel like it'd be a really nice way to record, you know? With Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all my playthroughs, I've always tried to do face cam, and there's just always been a problem that I can't get around no matter how many times I try. But I realized that if I record through OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, that I can actually have the face cam be recorded at the same time as everything else so that I don't have that framing problem. Uh, like I already mentioned earlier though, that does mean I have less freedom over how I edit my audio. So that could end up backfiring. Hopefully this system will work out better. I'm probably gonna have another update video soon, once I get a little bit more of this figured out. But for right now at least, as far as streaming on both YouTube and Twitch goes, I haven't really made up my mind which one I'm going to use permanently. I might just keep using both, but I'm thinking, at least for now, that anything that I'd potentially turn into a Let's Play 
I'd have on Twitch, and anything that'd be like a multiplayer community type game that we'd play together, I'd do on YouTube. Does that make sense? For example, if I were to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke, that's been something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, I'd probably record that on Twitch, and then later on bring out the highlights of it, or at least cut out all the grinding and whatnot, and then stick it on YouTube as another Let's Play series. So that'd be an example for Twitch. An example for YouTube would be, like I mentioned during my Realm of the Mad God playthroughs, possibly playing that during a live stream as a community. Where we could all just play together because it's free to play and really easy to jump into and all that. And then I probably wouldn't edit out highlights. I think I'm probably just going to leave anything I record on YouTube as just raw footage. But then something else that like I've been thinking about that I have no idea what I'd do with this is footage that I wouldn't necessarily turn into a Let's Play but that isn't really community driven either. Because recently uh, I ran out of hard drive space and so I haven't been able to play through all of Dark Souls 3 yet. Uh, I was only able to record up until the Halfway Fortress, which is right after the third boss. I've been told that it's relatively close to the fourth boss, though. So, I don't know. Uh, those of you who know about Dark Souls 3, there you go. That should give you an approximation of where I am in the current day. Obviously, episode-wise, I'm just now fighting Vort, but in present day, I'm at the Halfway Fortress. So, I should be getting a terabyte hard drive soon, which should let me finish up that playthrough. But while I've been waiting, I've had to uh, more or less give myself a nicotine patch <laughs> so that I don't jump into Dark Souls 3 and spoil myself with all the spoilers and whatnot. Because, like, I know that, like, reactions and stuff like that aren't really that big of a deal, but I just, I just feel like I should do as many Let's Plays as I can blind, you know? So if something shocks me or so that if I have struggles and whatnot, that it's, it just feels more real, I guess, to me. I guess just as an entertainer, that's that's just what I want to present to you. Me at my worst, and me at my best, and me overcoming what challenges await me. If I already know the game, and I've already played it and beat it like millions of times, then I feel as though it won't be as fun. Then it becomes more or less a guide or a walkthrough, which is kind of how Fire Emblem was. Which isn't necessarily bad for Fire Emblem, though, because that's a strategy game, so really, it's going to be like not as exciting anyways, so you might as well make it into a guide thing. So it worked for Fire Emblem, but for certain games like Dark Souls, I just feel like the struggle and the strategy and the thought processes involved, especially during your first time through, are just really interesting. And so I, I don't want to spoil myself by going and beating all those things, and then going through the game a second time for a Let's Play, and then it just being super easy. Hopefully that makes sense. So, like I already mentioned before, I thought it might be fun to New Game Plus a character wearing the same armor and equipment and whatnot as uh, the character Oscar, who's the guy he rescues at the beginning of the game. And then also the Chosen Undead and all the trailers and whatnot also wore the Elite Knight set with the Astora's Straight Sword and the uh, Crushed Shield. So I just felt like uh, just a build like that New Game plus and Dark Souls 1 would make for an interesting live stream. So let me know if that interests you at all. I mean, I I haven't... I don't think I've... No, I have. I have beat New Game Plus once with my first file, like, ages ago. But after that, I've just been rerunning through just a regular New Game over and over and over again. So I certainly know my way around Dark Souls 1. But New Game Plus, with a mediocre weapon... That being the straight sword, in my opinion, it's kind of mediocre and shitty. But I'm going to try and make it work. I'll be playing Dark Souls how you're not supposed to play it. As fashion souls. <laughs> so yeah, those are a few of my ideas and my shoddy schedule for now. Uh, let me know if you've got any kind of game recommendations that you'd like to see me play as a community thing. Or you just like to see me do stuff on uh, Twitch as a Let's Play. Uh, I really want to do a Nuzlocke. And... I'm probably just going to dink around and do some more Dark Souls stuff, mostly because I fucking love that game. Uh, I might replay through Shovel Knight. Does that sound interesting? I've already played through it once. Yeah, I played through it once, and then I've played through Plague Knight's thing. But I haven't played it in a while, so I feel like that'd be fun as well. Oh, duh. I should have just said this from the start. Um, I also have a bunch of other PlayStation 4 games that I haven't played yet. And a few PlayStation 3 games as well, so I could probably do The Witcher 3, Fallout 4, Batman Arkham Knight, and I've got both Bioshock games, 
on the PlayStation 3. I haven't played either of them yet. I know, I know. It's They're old, and I should have played them by now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've also got the Mass Effect trilogy. Again, still haven't played that. Still going in blind for that, so... Hopefully I don't kill everyone off, because I think people can die in that game. And then I've also got the Portal games and the Half-Life games. Uh, again, still haven't played them. I do know minor spoilers for Portal, though. But spoilers are pretty much impossible to avoid anyways for that game. I also have a Dreamcast and uh, Fantasy Star Online and a few other Dreamcast games. I think that'd be fun to play, just because no one really plays Dreamcast stuff. Um, back to the Nuzlocke thing. I'm thinking that I'll start with blue version, and then work my way up generation by generation. So then next I'd probably do either silver or crystal, and then ruby or emerald, and then uh, diamond or platinum, and then black two, and then Y version, and then hopefully by then sun and moon are out. And, of course, by the time I'd get to Y version, I'd need to invest in a capture recording thing for the 3DS, but that's probably not going to be anytime soon. That's probably going to be like a year down the road or something like that. So, yeah, Sun and Moon will definitely be out by then. That's about all I can think of right now. I'll make another update video sometime soon, because I know there's stuff I've forgotten. I already know that... There's a few other things I want to cover that don't quite fit within this topic as well. So, for sure there's gonna be another update video, but outside of that, right after this video goes up, provided that I'm not being irresponsible or something like that, uh, I should start my first test live stream. So please stop by and let me know if my audio is too loud or too quiet or what needs to be adjusted. It'd be a great help to me, and uh, hopefully you'd enjoy it too, because I'm probably gonna play some games after I do get everything all figured out. Plus, that's entirely part of the test, you know? So, I mean, that'll work. Probably just Dark Souls and maybe something on my PC. I don't know. But yeah, if you don't stop by, uh, have a good rest of your day. If you do, then I already know you're gonna have a good rest of the day. So, there you go. Bye.